If you're a guy who's getting a little bit older, like me, and like me, you're on a quest to turn back the clock on aging, then you'll want to watch this video where I'm going to be discussing human growth hormone or HGH. Uh, I'll be discussing the benefits of HGH. I'll be discussing the symptoms of a deficiency in HGH. And I'll be discussing uh, some of the strategies for naturally boosting your HGH production. If you're a middle-aged man and you want to recapture the fitness and the energy that you had when you were young, if you want to turn back the clock on aging, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Gentlemen, my name is Lance Hitchings and I created this channel to share my own experiences with turning back the clock on aging, what I've learned, what I've decided to do about it, and the results that I've achieved. If you want to crank up your own human growth hormone uh, production, then in this video, I'll reveal the strategies that I've used to naturally ignite my own HGH production without using uh, re hormone replacement therapy or synthetic growth hormones. Okay, so I've talked extensively on this channel about achieving optimal hormone levels by naturally boosting your testosterone production. But for the aging man, there's another hormone that's just as important as testosterone, and that's human growth hormone. Now, I know that there's a lot of controversy surrounding uh, human growth hormone, but most of that centers around artificially synthesized HGH that is taken as a supplement or as part of a hormone replacement therapy. And that's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about boosting your natural HGH production and none of the controversy applies to natural human growth hormone that is naturally secreted within the human body. So let's start by discussing what human growth hormone is. Human growth hormone is a peptide hormone, peptides being just simply a chain of amino acids. And they stimulate growth, cell reproduction, and cell regeneration in humans. Now, just as the hypothalamic pituitary gonadal axis, or HPG axis, plays a pivotal role in the production of testosterone, the hypothalamic pituitary somatotropic axis, or HPS axis, plays a correspondingly important role in the production of human growth hormone. So human growth hormone is synthesized, stored, and secreted by the pituitary gland, which is located in the back of the brain, and it's regulated by the hypothalamus, which secretes two peptides, high, uh, growth hormone releasing hormone, or GHRH, and growth hormone inhibiting hormone, or GHIH. Now, growth hormone release in the pituitary gland is determined by a balance between these two peptides, which are secreted by the hypothalamus. And in turn, they're regulated by a variety of physiological stimulators and inhibitors, such as exercise, sleep, and nutrition. Human growth hormone is synthesized and secreted in pulses in response to these stimuli by the hypothalamus. The largest and most predictable of these pulses occurs about an hour after the onset of sleep, and about 50% of HGH secretion occurs during the third and fourth REM cycles. Now, pulses of a human growth hormone secretion during the day occur at three to five hour intervals. Once secreted, human growth hormone remains active in the bloodstream for just a few minutes, just long enough for the liver to convert it into growth factors, the most crucial being insulin-like growth factor one, or IGF-1. And IGF-1 promotes growth in every cell in the human body. As children, we secrete fairly large amounts of human growth hormone, but as we age, those amounts can drastically drop off. Between the ages of 21 and 61, human growth hormone levels can decrease by as much as 80%. So moving on, I'm gonna talk about some of the symptoms of a deficiency in human growth hormone. And those can include a decrease in libido and sexual function, uh, a decrease in muscle mass and muscle strength, uh, a lack of memory, difficulty concentrating, and a general decline in cognitive function, increased risks for cardiovascular disease, depression and or anxiety, uh, hair loss, thin dry skin, fatigue, reduced bone density, and an increased risk for osteoporosis, high levels of LDL or the bad cholesterol, high levels of triglycerides, insulin resistance, 
and an increase in body fat, particularly visceral fat and temperature sensitivity. So I think that the conclusion that we can all draw from this is that we want to boost our production of human growth hormone as much as we possibly can. So what are the benefits of increased human growth hormone production? Well, to start off with muscle strength. Human growth hormone has been shown to improve muscle strength through uh, stimulating collagen synthesis in skeletal muscles and tendons. Human growth hormone has been shown to speed up the regeneration of bone, making it a key factor in bone healing. Uh, applying growth factors like IGF-1 is known to stimulate the metabolism of bone, resulting in an improvement in bone density and a reduction in osteoporosis risks. In fact, human growth hormone stimulates faster healing overall. Growth hormone enhances weight loss by accelerating lipolysis, which is the breakdown of lipids, and it involves the hydrolysis of triglycerides and free fatty acids. So studies have shown that obese individuals have a limited response to growth hormone uh, stimuli release, but after successfully losing that weight, their growth hormone responsiveness is vastly improved. So while fat loss is improved by human growth hormone, the biggest gains are seen in visceral fat, which is that disease-promoting fat that accumulates around your internal organs. Increases in human growth hormone can also improve your libido and your sexual function. In a German study, healthy adult men were exposed to tactile and visual stimuli in order to produce erections. And this resulted in an increase in human growth hormone of over 90%. Now, this suggests that erections can be uh, induced by human growth hormone through its stimulating activity on erectile tissue, making it a potential natural remedy for erectile dysfunction. Additionally, increases in human growth hormone can improve mood and cognitive function, and they promote better sleep. Okay, well, that's all great, but how do we go about improving our human growth hormone production? Well, as it turns out, a lot of the things that we can do to naturally boost our testosterone production can also naturally increase our human growth hormone production. And best of all, human growth hormone itself has the capacity to naturally elevate our testosterone production. Okay, so the first thing that you can do is lose weight, just like with testosterone. Numerous studies have shown that higher obesity levels result in lower HGH levels. But after successfully losing that weight, HGH levels return to normal. Next, do intermittent fasting. A study showed that after three days into a fast, human growth hormone levels had increased by 300%. And after a week of fasting, they'd increased by a massive 1,250%. And other studies show similar results with double and triple growth hormone levels after just two or three days of fasting and stop eating sugar. A spike in your insulin levels can lower your human growth hormone levels and refined carbs and sugars raise insulin levels the most. Do high intensity interval training. While all exercises have a beneficial effect on human growth hormone production, high intensity interval training has the best. Due to its uh, metabolic nature and increases in lactic acid, high intensity interval training has the most beneficial effect on human growth hormone production of any exercise. Optimize your sleeping habits. Since 50% of human growth hormone production occurs while you're asleep, it's vitally important that you get enough sleep and that you get high quality sleep. And finally, supplement. There are a number of supplements that have been shown to improve human growth hormone production, and they include arginine, GABA, melatonin, glutamine, creatine, orthanine, L-DOPA, glycine, and taking a beta alanine or recovery shake around your workouts. So I hope you found this video informative and that it will help you out on your road to naturally boosting your human growth hormone production and in turning back the clock. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Uh, share it with your friends and on your social media. Hit the like button and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. And as always, 
Thank you so much for watching.